Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome to another episode. Just got in this field and guess what he started doing? It's pissing down. It's absolutely pissing down. I couldn't get out last week because you see that little car there? <laughs> Gearbox went 1300 quid. I'm going to have to find some gold today to pay for that. 1300 pounds just to fix the gearbox. <laughs> so let's crack it on. I'm in that field I was in last week where I got all started getting all the copper coins. So I'm going to carry on doing that. See if I can pick up some copper coins maybe a bit of silver if there's copper there's got to be silver surely you'd think so anyway wouldn't you the only problem is i'm getting closer to the roadside of this field and it's going to be a lot of tin cans so how much filming we're going to get in today i don't know well let's give it a try let's crack on and let's have a little dig shall we hi guys nothing to report as yet just had this on the surface tiny little block of lead came in about 70s 80s I started to dig for it but I didn't have to because it was on the top I just showed to see if you can hear it. Should be able to. Don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, as soon as you start, I just found another big bit of lead down there, but I didn't film that. So let's crack on. Let's get to them coins. Hi right, guys, what do you make of these two? Pull that out first. Thought, ooh, we're back on the coinage. It's like it's got silver gilt on it. It's a bum. Look at my wife, it's got silver gilt on it. Silver found. <laughs> and then this, I thought it was a dog tag at first, but there's nothing on it. It doesn't look like any way to attach it to anything. No holes, no clips. What's that used for? Who knows? If you know, whack it in the bottom. Strange bit of copper. Let's crack it on. What do you make of this strange little doodad? What is that? It's not broken off there, but it's got this bit at the bottom. I thought it was a handle. Not got the first. Maybe it's see for Hi guys, I think it's gonna be a button day today. Look at that one. I thought it was hammered at first, the way it's folded. It's folded like an hammered. You pretend to be an hammered. And when I saw the gold I thought, ooh, then I felt the shank. <laughs> it's still an old button. But it's not a coin. It's coin shaped. Let's just crack it on. One hour later. Hi guys, I apologise for the wind noise. I've left my mic at home, so you might hear a bit of wind. I do apologise, I can't help it. It's windy. Possible, possible first coin. I'm saying a possible first coin because it could be. But you see it? They came up very, very, very high 90s. Okay, 93, 94, solid 93, 94. So let's have a goose. Oh, there's a huge coin. Oh, is that one of those? Ooh. That, look how thick that is. Funny feeling, you know, that's a bloody cartwheel. What do you think, man? Somewhat on it. Is that a bit of a clean up of this? Let's see what I can find. Hi, guys, that's the best I can clean up for now in the field. But what is that? It's definitely a coin. Definitely a coin. can't be a cartwheel because that isn't George the third he's facing the wrong way or well, she's facing the wrong way and I thought it was an old Victoria but that it, that's not a veil head it's got some sort of pattern on that maybe it's a token Ooh, I like my tokens I want 
awesome find. What I'm going to have to do is clean it up. Just take some photos of that's brilliant. That is. That was worth coming out for. It's worth for the buttons and all the crap just to get this. That's cool. Let's get some more of these. Sorry for the light, it's gone dark. I wonder if I can get my pro. Oh, there they go. That there is a tin can. Right, it's a tin can. It's. I don't know. Five, six inches deep. Yeah, that really old token, rarest token I've just found over there. Shallower than that. And all the coins I've been finding, like in the last video, the coin bonanza video, every single coin was pretty much shallower than that tin can. So it shows how things can get turned up and turned around, turned up and turned around, turned up and turned around. I mean, I, see there's my car there, there's a the hedge, there's a the road. But if I'm finding good coins and tokens in between tin cans, I've got to do it. I've got to, this even give a better signal than the, the, than the coin, because this came out at an 83 quite solid, yet the old coin is totally was that like a 98, 93, something like that? Leading me to believe I thought it was going to be a modern coin. But obviously, so it just shows, just shows. When you're discriminating targets out, you've got to be very careful what you discriminate out and what you don't dig and what you do dig. And even I'm still trying to work that out. But anyway, just thought I'd show you that. So let's crack it on. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi guys, another day. This is another dollar. I've just set up. Just set the, the uh, base up. First signal was a 63, 70. I thought, oh, I've done this sort of bit before. I've been up down. And I believe this is the coin. Another all busted up Georgia by the looks of it. Give it a yeah, another busted up Georgie. Where's the silver? Still a cool find, cool find. It's just down from where I got that uh, token from. Uh, that token is a um, Druid's Head mining token from the Paris mine in uh, Anglesey. Uh, information given to me by Pete Brown and John uh, Webb on Coinshalix and Fun. I hadn't got a clue, never found one before. I'm pleased I've got one. This isn't one. This is just a bald Georgie. So let's carry on and crack it on. See what else we can get. Hey guys, next find. Piece of cop, I thought it was a coin at first. Okay, well, the belly signal. I don't know if you can hear that, but okay, well, the belly signal. There's a piece of copper, a bit of folded copper. I'm just going up this little bit here. The track's there. See if I can't just pick up stuff on the edge, see if there's any more lost coinage. Let's crack it on. Hi guys, well, this will be the smallest find I think you'll see today. It's a little tiny, tiny, tiny air pellet. Two, two. Two, two air pellets, yep. Oh my God. Tiny. Come off with about 60, 65. So it picked it up. Well, it's just took me about half an hour to find it in a hole. Let's crack it on. Hi guys, next find. A tiny little button. A tiny little button. So I still miss little things like this. Came off with a 78. I was stopped digging this. Uh, there was a couple walking the dog behind me and I was stopped digging it. And this couple walking the dog said, I'd get up quick if I was you. And I heard these galloping horses and I turned round and behind me was the Cheshire Hunt. Um, a few guys who don't know what the Cheshire Hunt is, it's basically fox hunting. I don't think they're after a fox. I hope they weren't. Um, but there was about 15 horses, hounds, all sort of bellowing down behind me. So I. Uh, what I was doing and get up really rather sharpishly 
I, mean, I should have filmed them, but I don't don't really. Do you know what I mean? Fox hunting. If you guys in America probably don't. We, you know what fox hunting is. It's where a load of rich people get on horses and go around chasing a fox with a load of hounds. Don't really agree with it myself, but I, I don't think they're after a fox. I just, just, just think it was the hunt, I think. Because some you can hear in that. Huh? They came down this lane, so. Anyway, while I'm here, I'd like to wish um, all my subscribers, past, present, and future, I hope, a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Um, 2020 is creeping up on us really, really soon. Um, I'll get hopefully I'll get this video out before Christmas. So have a great Christmas, have a great time. If you metal detecting, get out there, get them finds in. Good time of year for it. Ground's nice and damp and gives off those solid good targets. So have a good time and all the best. <laughs>